Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Wednesday, the 18th of November, 2020. Now you guys, please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading, okay? Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, all right? All right, so let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here. For Wednesday, the 18th. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, well, my guide said keep it. We have author. All right. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know? So we have leg. August and we have Mule. All right. Interesting. All right, Spirit. What messages do you have for us for Wednesday, the 18th of November 2020? Thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ascended masters. Thank you, guides. Thank you. Okay. We have judgment. Three of cups. Two of cups. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, my goodness, look at all these Pentacles, and we have the Sun, wow, oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay. Let's scoop this up just a hair. Let me get up here. Make sure you can see it. There we go. All right, so you have the master number 22 coming through here. Okay, you guys, I always tell you to go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation, okay? Now, we also have the number sequence here, 2, 3, and 4, so we do have... A progression of events taking place um, I tell you what this is amazing okay this is amazing Wow all right I tell you what Wednesday and even throughout the rest of this week I'm getting even maybe Monday of next week that this reading is gonna carry on uh, where it can play out these energies in your situation in your life and I tell you what is very powerful positive some of you have a judgment that is coming in here that has to do with money and it's gonna leave you with stability and security financial freedom okay um, I tell you what there's just blessings all over this ring that seems and it's all about your money, okay? And I see a marriage, okay? Or this could be a divorce and you're getting the house, all right? Um, let's go ahead and start here before I dive in. There's a lot going on, you guys. So we have author. You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. So this is very powerful, okay? 
you know, some of you have been procrastinating, you've been wanting to maybe start a journal, uh, a diary, anything like that. Um, I feel like it's going to be important more than ever right now for you to do so because I feel like you're going to find out you have a hidden talent here. Okay, you have a talent for writing. You know, there are those of you that already know you have a, you know, a talent here and spirit is just saying, push through, okay? Um, keep sending your, your, your books in, your work in. You're gonna, you're, somebody's gonna notice your work. But I feel like this is more along the lines, those of you that don't realize you have that within you to be a very popular, okay? Uh, successful writer all right and if you start journaling or, or start a diary and you start writing stuff down you know it, it makes things come through all right your third eye opens um, because it's your thoughts it, it's the things that's going racing through your mind and go with it all right Get, you know if if you've ever thought about writing okay Sit down with a piece of paper and a pencil and close your eyes and just whatever comes through, write it down. Write it down. I think you'll be surprised. I'm getting automatic writing coming through here as well. Some of you are gifted and you don't know it with automatic writing. All right. Um, you might want to try that. That's definitely a spiritual gift that's amazing, okay? And that's what's coming through for my guy. It's very, very strong, okay? Some of you don't even realize that you have that gift or that talent, okay? Automatic writing, if you do not know what that is, um, it's a spiritual gift. Google it. Look it up, okay? All right, so we have... If I can get the cards up. <laughs> we have leg, okay? Stepping into a new experience. All right, for some of you, this is work. This is, you know, moving up into a position. Um, it's something different. Uh, you're gonna be, you're gonna do just fine, okay? You're gonna be very successful. No matter what this new experience is that you are stepping into, it's going to be successful, okay? Now, I am getting this energy. Some of you are feeling a little bit of doubt and fear. Um, ground yourself and just know that you wouldn't be having this experience if it wasn't meant for you. So go with it, you guys, okay? Believe in yourself. Now, we have the month of August coming up here. The month of August. I'm getting September as well. This message could be for those of you that are um, Virgos, okay? Leo Virgo energy is what I'm getting right here. Okay. This is going to be for one person. You may be like a cusp on Leo Virgo. You're going to be moving in August 2021. You're going to be moving. Now we have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. Okay. I'm getting a presence of masculine energy right here. Some of you ladies out there have a boyfriend or a husband that's, uh, I wouldn't say he's all the way a narcissist, but, you know, he's pretty close to being one. Um, you've talked, you've tried to, you know, work things out with him. You've let him know, look, you know, this isn't going to work. You can't talk to me this way or, you know, he's doing something that is very, very belittling and disrespectful. And you've let it be let it be known that you know you don't like it, and he's just not gonna he's not gonna budge, he's not gonna change. Okay, I tell you what, and this is you know I'm gonna tell you ladies this. Okay, the only people in the world we can change is ourselves. Okay, he has to want to change. 
okay? And if he's refusing to budge and change, I bless your heart, it might be time to get out of that toxic situation, okay? Whew, I feel that. Okay. <clears throat> Some heavy energy right there. All right, so we have judgment with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Beautiful energy. This talks about rite of passage, second chances. Some of you are doing a review because you're fixing to close a door on a season, a cycle you've been on, and you're going to have a fresh start. Make sure that you, you know, leave all those energies that in the past cycle that, you know, are low vibrational or negative in that cycle. You don't want to carry that with you in, with this new beginning. Now, another thing that I'm getting here, uh, this, <laughs> some of you are going to court, all right, and judgment is in your favor. Um, this could be an inheritance, a lawsuit, a divorce, whatever it may be. Judgment is going to be very, very nice. I tell you what, um, stability, s security, great wealth, okay? You're going to be comfortable. You're going to have financial freedom right here. All right. Now I am coming through from my guides. It's going to be important for those of you that have been feeling like uh, just intuitively you need to go to the doctor. You need to maybe go get your blood pressure checked or anything like that. Or maybe you have this, you know, you're, you're wanting to start eating right. You know, you're not eating right and you're, you want to change your diet for your health. It's going to be important that you, you do so and you act upon that, okay? And if you're worried about your blood pressure, go get it checked out, okay? Somebody needs to be, it needs that confirmation of knowing you know who you are. You know, you're sitting there going, oh my goodness, is she talking about me? If that's you, then yes, I am talking about you, okay? Make an appointment, okay? All right, so we have the Three of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. All right, so, you know, I feel like there's a handful of you out there that you have somebody that is constantly, not just somebody, you have people that are always asking for handouts. They're asking for help. They need this. They need that. Okay? That's a lot. And it's going to be important that you balance this give and take relationship. Okay? You want to make sure it's balanced so that you are open to receiving the blessings and abundance that the universe has for you as well. Now, like I said a moment ago, there could be cause for celebration right here because of money coming in here, you being blessed with a settlement or winning a divorce or an inheritance, okay? Uh, definitely, definitely judgment is in your favor. Those of you that are waiting on money through the legal judicial system okay and i tell you what when you do get it you're going to be beside yourself and it was worth the wait i promise you it was worth the wait now we have the two of cups with the four of pentacles okay the two of cups is you know a merge you know between two people all right this is a partnership this could be a marriage a soulmate connection okay now you see that rainbow from cup to cup that to me represents endless opportunities and possibilities right there this is such a powerful energy and it can also represent business uh, partnerships especially with the four of Pentacles clarifying it some you know some of you may be going into business or getting a financial backer this could be a loan as well this could have to do with the contract now, for one or two of you, this is a divorce, okay, and you're getting the house, or you're getting half of the business, okay? Now, I do see a marriage here, getting married, um, buying your first home, uh, or you could be starting a business, okay? And you could be partnering with your husband or your wife, and you guys are starting a, a home business, okay, or a family business, you know, the Four of Pentacles is all about laying a solid, unshakable foundation. It's about stability, security, okay? And 
for some of you, there may be a need for you to invest a little bit of money into something in order to make money. And if that's the case, if that's what you've been thinking about and procrastinating on, then it's time to take action. Now, another thing that I'm getting right here, okay? Those of you men out there that have a, a wife, a girlfriend, all right? Listen up. Show her some love, okay? And it's coming through here real strong. Maybe buy her some flowers. Take her to dinner. Let her know that she's, you know, she's your life, okay? Somebody needs to hear that, whoever that is. They need to know that they're your world, okay? All right. Powerful energies right there. <clears throat> All right, two of pentacles with the sun, the energy of Leo. There's another rainbow, endless opportunities and possibilities. You know, some of you are going to be making a huge life-changing decision. You may even decide to drop those pinnacles and take action on a new career or business. You could be moving. It has to do with your money, okay, this decision. But it's all for the betterment of your situation. You have the clarity that you need. You've discovered truths, okay, that has allowed for you to be able to make a decision here to move forward. There's success that is promised right here, and this success is coming from your creativity. You know, this is your time to shine. This is your time to come out of the shadows and let the world, you know, see what you do, okay? Um, I feel like you have people that admire your skill, your work. You're very talented. This could be a successful new business that you're going to start, a successful new career, okay? And it's going to be amazing. Those of you that came to this reading wanting a confirmation, a yes or no uh, answer, the answer is yes, okay? All right, you guys. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. Bye-bye, everyone.